Today's lesson is on comparing decimals, and this goes along with third grade everyday math, uh, home link 5.11. Uh, but it might be useful to anyone who's learning to compare decimals. The first very basic thing we'll review are the signs that you use. And there are three main signs. One looks like this. This is called greater than. Another one looks more like this. And we call that less than. And the one you're probably most familiar with would be equal to. So those are the three basic ways to compare two numbers, greater than, less than, and equal to. If you're comparing two whole numbers, you should know how to do this then. So we know 27 is less than 42, so we would draw the is less than symbol. And to help you remember, just remember you have a very hungry alligator, and it always wants to eat the bigger number. Now, let's quickly review decimals here and take a look at this number with the decimal in it. What place is this? Go ahead and say it. What place is this? What place is this? And what place is this? We learned this in the last lesson. You should know here we have the tens. Here is the ones. And do you remember after the decimal point, here we have tenths with a th. And this one is hundredths with a th. And as another quick review, can you read this number? It is 35 and 87 hundredths. Now, let's compare two numbers with decimals. Uh, first, for practice, please try reading these numbers. What's this number? And this number? Here we have 12 and 3 tenths. Over here we have 9 and 99 hundredths. Now, which number is bigger? You might be tempted to look at this number, see all of the 9's, and think right away it's bigger because 9 is bigger than both 1, 2, and 3. But what we need to do is look at the place value, starting with the highest place value. Okay, so here we had the tens place. Over here, there is no tens place. The highest digit is the ones place. So since this number has no tens place, this number must be greater. So 12 and 3 tenths is greater than 9 and 99 hundredths. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, here, both numbers, the highest place is the ones place, to the left of the decimal point. Both numbers have zero in the ones place, so we need to go to the next place. Over here in the tens place, we have four. Here in the tens place, we have zero. This four in the tens place is greater than this zero in the tens place. So 42 hundredths is greater than this number is... 88 thousands. This is the thousands place. There is one more thing you need to know before you can do your homework now. Um, if you have zeros as the last number, it's almost like they don't count. Okay, so look here. We have three in the tens place and three in the tens place. These zeros here don't add anything to the number. Because here, you can imagine, if you put zeros, it would still be the same number. So, if you see something like this, that is going to be equal. 
But if the zeros are before, so for example, if you had this, now you're comparing 3 in the tens place and 0 in the tens place. In this situation, you're going to have a greater than. So now we're ready for your favorite time of night, home link time. And we're going to take a look at home link 511 for third grade. Okay, so let's look at number one here. And we have two numbers we're comparing. Let's look first at this place here. So this is the ones place. We have two ones over here, over here in the ones place. Also two. So let's look at the next place. The tenths place after the decimal. Here we have a 3 in the tenths place. Here we have a 5 in the tenths place. 5 is greater than 3. So we will put this symbol is less than. 2 and 35 hundredths is less than 2 and 57 hundredths. Okay, take a look at number 2 now. Here we have the ones place, a 1 in the ones place. And over here, also a 1 in the ones place. So let's look after the decimal point. Here's a 0 in the tens place. Here is an 8 in the tens place. This 8 in the tens place is greater than this 0 in the tens place. So again, we will do is less than. Uh, you should be able to do the rest by your own. For number 4, please remember what we did here. If you take a look at this before you do number four and also number seven, it's going to help you figure that out. And let's take a quick look at number nine here. The nine and four and fifty-nine hundred stands for nine what? Here is your hint for this. We're all the way back here and this number the 7 in this situation is 7 hundredths. So that will help you with number 9 on your home link. Okay, one more thing. Uh, we need to have a couple patterns here. So when you see a pattern, try to figure out what's changing in the pattern. Here the 6 in the 1's place is staying the same, mostly. The 5 in the 10's place is staying the same. So I need to change the hundredths place. And it's going by one, seven, eight. So the next number is going to be six and fifty-nine hundredths. And I think you can figure out the next part. Down here, what's changing? Well, I see seven, eight, nine, while the other numbers stay the same. This is the tenths place, seven, eight, nine. Now here's the tricky part. What comes after nine is ten. But the one of that ten is going to go in the ones place. And your next number is here. And you can do the rest on your own, but just remember the tens place is what's changing here. Uh, one more thing. At the end, 13 and 14, write the number that is one more, point one or one tenth more. So in this place, Change that by one, more. And four and seven hundredths, here again is the tens place, change that by a tenth, more. Okay, that's good for now, and the rest of it you should be able to do on your own. Thank you, and see you later.